Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today we have a mail call from 1982. I've been collecting this one. It's number 57 of 1981-82 catalogue, the Carmichael Rescue Vehicle, otherwise known as the Carmichael Commando. This is the catalogue we're talking about. If I can flick through and find it. Um, I did have a bookmark in this and then I used it for something else. So we've probably flicked past it already. Let's just pretend we've seen it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff, wasn't there? 1981, 1982 release. Hmm. Elusive. I spend quite a few hours uh, pre-video finding stuff and then losing stuff again. Oh well. Um, I think what might be in this box is the variant, and I did bookmark this one. There she blows, the Carmichael Fire Commando. How good are you seeing that bit of glare there? Gee, there's a lot of stuff in here, isn't there? A lot of stuff yet to find and collect. But yeah, no further ado. Uh, this is the beautiful original of the Carmichael Rescue Vehicle. There's five arch wheels. Times six. It's based on the Range Rover, loosely based on the Range Rover from around the same era. Actually, this one's a little bit earlier. Um, I'll pop you down for a second before we rip open the extremely late mail call from 1982. <laughs> Came out in the blue windows or blue light thingy. And then they threw in the sheriff randomly and military, why not? But it was sort of a, a side shoot. In fact, they were the main branch, weren't they? The trunk to this side shoot, the Carmichael rescue vehicle. Should we just get on with what I'm here to show you for? What you are possibly here to see? There's other things in here, but for the life of me, I can't remember what on earth they are. It's a strange thing that uh, so much turns up here on a weekly basis. Gee, stuff everywhere. That um, I really honestly lose track of what is coming in. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, I didn't know this was coming. Matchbox Porsche racing car. A free one. See back for details. Hmm. Oh. I wonder if this is expired. Probably. Oh, you gotta... Oh, look. You gotta destroy some packaging. I'm not into that. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. All the way from Essex. Is that the Essex? Um, oh, there she goes. Oh, it's open too. But what else do we have? Hmm. FC toys. Made in Holland, really? Hey, they look like majorette wheels of old. This thing's heavy. I might have to hold this back for my other channel. I have another channel in case you don't know, called Ultimate Diecast. And I have a segment that I like to do. It's quite a new segment called Obscure Brands. If you're in Holland or continental Europe, FC might not be an obscure brand to you, but I've never heard of it. So that's random. I'll have a closer look at that on the other channel. But this is what we're here to see. Number 57 was that, oh, look at that. It kept the same number um, for the 84-85 catalogue. 
And there she goes. What sort of condition are we talking? Beautiful. Plastic base. Same plastic base. Uh, and, uh, just trying to see. Oh, there it is. Made in England. Look at that. Between the front axle. Or front wheels. Hmm. Ta-da! Magic. Now there's the small problem of imposters. For a couple of years I thought this was a banged up military version. But it's just been painted military. Because, you know, they did like to do everything in military once or twice, didn't they? So this is truly an imposter. See the white paint underneath, but I thought naively that it was still a military vehicle. So he's on the out. These are on the in. Uh, I did do a little bit of research unusually before I rolled camera today. Um, there are Bulgarian ones out there. Um, the Bulgarian market in the mid 80s into the I think mid 90s was sort of the wild west of Matchbox where they just grabbed a tin of paint from the shed and, and painted whatever casting that they were producing that day in the factory in Bulgaria. They were under license from Matchbox to do it. Um, in fact, employed and encouraged by Matchbox um, as a cheaper alternative to the spiralling labour costs of the West back then and now. Um, so there is a, a blue and white police version of this and probably a hundred other weird colours and variants. If you collect Bulgarian castings, um, good luck in completing any sort of collection. There seems to be no end or rhyme or reason to it. Um, but I'm happy to say that that's a complete set now in the two. Happy me. Uh, have I left anything out? I don't think so. That was all that was in that box. That was slightly random. And that's okay. We're all about random on this show. I think I covered the catalogues. Yeah, we're good. Wonderful. Even more wonderful. Hope you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.